Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Close to 8.45. Got a Monday. Nice to have you along. Temperatures in the low 30s. Let's spend a few moments with uh, Bristol Community College President Laura Douglas. And uh, we're talking about uh, something which is extremely positive. Boy, this is good. Uh, this is uh, going to be included in the governor, Governor Maura Healy's 2024 budget. And uh, it'll create uh, some funding for Mass Reconnect. The Mass Reconnect program, and uh, and along with that, uh, it also uh, will support some other early college uh, initiatives. So this is really uh, pretty good stuff. Laura, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. How about you, Heck? Good, good. This is, that's a nice story that we got a headline this morning from uh, oh. uh, from uh, from the governor's office. Uh, starting this will yeah. start in 2024. Well, yes, we would uh, hope that it would start in 2024 with a budget of about $20 million in its first year. And uh, we hope that it would uh, start uh, and then build over time. But it's, uh, it's a community college program that's been very successful in Michigan and Tennessee for adults who are 25 and older who have um, no college degree or certificate. Many of these individuals in Massachusetts Massachusetts, that's 1.8 million adults who don't have uh, a degree or certificate. But of that 1.8 million, 700,000 are individuals who started programs um, but didn't finish them. So just imagine with our work shortage right now, how helpful that would be to have a well-trained uh, workforce here in Massachusetts. So $20 million will go a long way. Uh, some people say, how could that ever support that type of a program? But you have to recognize that students first would have to apply for financial aid, federal financial aid. So a lot of that burden would actually come out of federal dollars that they're entitled to. But then those last dollars, the additional dollars to finish up those uh, credits, uh, to pay for tuition and fees, um, and uh, books, and other types of supports would all be part of this $20 million budget. So uh, we really need this in Massachusetts right now. We've been slipping when it comes to a skilled workforce, and uh, we know that Massachusetts has one of the most educated workforce uh, workforces uh, around, and we need to maintain that to attract these great companies and keep them here in our backyard. All right. So it's kind of, it's a, a state, but a, a federal partnership as well, as, you, as you're saying. That's right, because every student is uh, that qualifies can uh, can get uh, federal aid. That's our Pell Grant program uh, for for individuals here in the United States. So, uh, you know, and many people already qualify. But if you don't qualify, you can still come, and uh, Massachusetts will help uh, uh uh, pay that bill to make sure that you can get that degree completed. For some individuals, it may be a few classes. For others, it may be a year. Uh, but uh, every individual is different based on their, their past record. But we hope that this Mass Reconnect program, uh, if passed and supported, will help adults cross the finish line into a certificate or a degree program that will support our economy. All right. Boy, that's uh, that would be great. That would be uh... A great benefit uh, for for you know everybody involved. When you think about it, it's going to help uh, the uh, employers out there, and then of course uh, uh, eventually keep uh, you know keep the economy cooking. And says that's all good stuff. That's right. And, you know, I always like to remind people that, you know, here in Fall River, for example, the median family income is just $40,000, and we have low college attainment rates. And if we can help folks get those degrees and earn a, a higher wage uh, with a very sustainable job that provides benefits and provides also a great sense of f fulfillment uh, for families, it's really a win-win for everyone. All right. And as we have said a million times in the last uh, 25, 30 years, 40, for many years as we've been doing this, uh, you know, the community college continues to be a, you know, continues to be a great bargain. 
Yes, yes. And Bristol Community College has some of the lowest tuition and fees in all of Massachusetts. So we're a great bargain with a great quality of education. All right. And it's uh, it's where lots of folks, of course, can go ahead and uh, take that first step. And then, of course, you know, you still this has been uh, I, I guess it has it. It's as it has a, I guess, grown over the years uh, with uh, uh, the ability to, to uh, spend two years at Bristol and then uh, and go ahead and, and go to a, to a higher ed. Yes, yes, a very nice transfer opportunities when they start here at Bristol and then they go on. Many of our, most of our students either go to UMass Dartmouth or to Bridgewater State University, and we have defined pathways where students are automatically admitted. So it's a, uh, it's a real easy breezy way and a great way to not earn that, uh, rack up that debt. In fact, um, uh, most of our students actually graduate with no debt, which is really a wonderful um, uh, positioning for for adults in life. Yeah, excellent stuff. You're doing well. Uh, you're doing well, for Laura. Things are good. Things are good. We just came off a of spring break, so uh, you know this kind of signifies the mid midpoint, and uh, we're looking forward to commencement in May and lots to celebrate. Uh, we also have some pretty big news about our vaccination requirement. Uh, the Massachusetts Community Colleges uh, uh, elected to uh, to rescind that requirement starting. Um, after May 18th uh, for Bristol Community College, uh, we feel as though we have uh, good safety measures in place and high vaccination rates in our, our community. And um, we think that we can uh, move forward without that requirement for both our uh, students and employees. So for students who have been uh, staying online because they chose not to get vaccinated, they'll be welcomed back in the classroom. And uh, we really hope that this will make a difference as well as we return to a more normal life here in Massachusetts. All right. Sounds great. Laura Douglas, President uh, Laura Douglas, Bristol Community College. Great to have you along. Hope you have a, a wonderful rest of uh, March. And then uh, I know you're talking May. That's that just the sound of that feels good. It does. Let's hope it gets warmer, right? Uh, yeah, no kidding. Although my, <laughs> my weather guy is saying uh, not just yet, maybe a couple of weeks before the trend uh, changes a little bit. But well, uh, we've been, overall, we've been pretty lucky. No complaints. Great. Take care, Hack. Laura, take care. Thank you very much. Uh, community, uh, Bristol Community College President Laura Douglas there. And all about the, uh, the Mass Reconnect program. <laughs> 